Hello there, welcome to Sitam Church Online. Thank you again for making time for us. My name is Precious Call. Delighted this day to get an opportunity to share God's word with us again. And we had an amazing time in our last video talking about beginnings and how in the beginning, God, God was there and he redefined everything and he gave a sense of order to what was um, a confused state of the world that he was creating and we saw how it's important for us that even as we begin to make plans for this year our resolutions and and for those of us that completely have nothing to do with that um, that it's important for us to involve God right from the beginning now we are in that season where people are writing down things they want God to do for them and 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 every every one of us me included we desire to do well we desire to be blessed we desire to be prosperous and this is not prosperity gospel or preaching but we desire to experience the blessings of God in our lives for my family in my career in my ministry in the things that I do I, I want to see God's blessings I want to see God working with me I want to see that prosperity if you walk around churches and people are telling, preachers are telling congregants what they need to do to enjoy those prosperity, you'll go to some congregations and unfortunately you'll find people being told to put some seed in an envelope and sow it for a prosperous future. And people are giving money so that their future can be blessed. And people are giving stuff so that God can bless them. Almost like I'm twisting God to do stuff for us. But what does the Bible really say? Should we desire a prosperous year? Should we want to see God's blessing? What does the Bible say? I want to draw your attention to a passage of scripture in the book of Job chapter 22 that makes it so easy for us. <coughs> Excuse me, I beg your pardon. Those of us that are trusting God for breakthroughs and prosperity, listen to what the Bible says in the book of Job chapter 22 verse 21. Submit to God and be at peace with him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. Think about that for a moment. Submit to God and be at peace with Him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. The Bible sometimes does make complex things very, very easy. Can you imagine that those things we run out after, the prosperity and everything, the wellness of life, all those issues that we run around looking for, the Bible says, stop the run. Calm down, relax, take it easy. Submit yourself to God. Number two, be at peace with him. That way, you will see prosperity. Then verse 22 says, accept instruction from his mouth and lay up his word on your heart. Friends, you can give all the seed you want to give. You can do all the manner of things you want to do. You can go all over the place, wherever you want to go and receive power and be anointed and as good as those things are. At the end of the day, the bottom line and the gateway to a prosperous life, number one, submitting your life to God. Number two, being at peace with God. Number three, accepting instruction from his, from his mouth. And number four, laying up his word on your heart. Think about that for a moment. Could it be that sometimes we do not see the blessings we desire because we have abandoned these four very basic things that God has given us or told us in his word, in his scripture. Elsewhere in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1, the Bible says, as God is speaking to the children of Israel, that these blessings, and he lists a whole number of them in that chapter, will follow you only if you are careful to obey my commands. And I want to challenge you today that this will be a frustrating year if we abandon these four elements that have been written or presented to us in the book of Job. I want you to take it as a challenge upon yourself to number one, submit yourself to God. What that means is that God then becomes all that you have. You live in surrender to him. Number two, be at peace with him. What does it mean to you to be at peace with God? Walking in his ways, walking in his statutes, not violating his code of conduct. In this year, that you will walk in the instruction of God because that's what number three says, accepting instruction from God's mouth. That when he says, let's go south, we go south. When he says, let's go pray, we pray. When he says, readjust your devotional life, you do that. And number five, that God's word is laid up in your heart. I have kept this word in your heart that I may not sin against you. That, brothers and sisters, is the simple gateway, is the simple roadmap to a prosperous 2022. So please have yourself an amazing one and think about these four things. And I wish you God's blessings even as you journey with him. Thank you for watching and see you again 
on our next episode. Asante.